Hello, welcome to Y Education again. And today we are going to talk about a new lesson. But before we start, I want you to subscribe and click on the ring button in order to be updated. Today's lesson is about oiling and evaporation. And the difference between boiling and evaporation and what's in common. As you can see here in the first picture, boiling, there is heat, bubbles, vapor, and in the second one, river, and no bubbles, no heat, just vapors also. So evaporation and boiling both are a process by which water changes into gas or vapor. Water changes from liquid form into gas form. Liquid into gas. What about boiling only? Boiling only needs heat. Heat should be heat source. And faster. Boiling usually seems to be faster than evaporation because there is a heat source. Okay? goes throughout the liquid so the heat when the pan is heated okay boiling occurs first at the bottom of the pan okay then goes up and throughout the liquid as it goes throughout the liquid bubbles are formed bubbles are formed and occurs at 100 celsius so boiling occurs at 100 Celsius degree. When the water reaches 100 Celsius, the boiling point, so the liquid starts to be or changes into gas. Okay? Vapor. Evaporation. Evaporation is different because no heat, no heat is needed. And slower, it, it might take like weeks or days okay and evaporation only occurs from the surface of the liquid only not throughout the liquid just from the surface from the surface the water goes from the liquid into vapor form from the surface only of course there is no bubbles there is no heat and evaporation occurs at any temperature above zero celsius zero celsius is the freezing point it can occur at 1, 2, 30, 40, 50, any temperature above freezing point, above zero. Here, to sum up, evaporation, no bubbles, okay, no heat, and occurs only from the surface of the liquid. And the liquid changes into gas. Boiling is different. There is heat source and bubbles are formed, goes throughout the liquid and changes from liquid form into gas form like this. So it is very easy and clear. I hope you understand the lesson and please don't hesitate to ask any question. And I will put a, a, a Nearpod game link in the description box below. Play it. It will test your understanding. And see you in the next lessons. And bye-bye.